Hi Kazoo, so tell us a little bit about uh, Amulet 2 that's coming out this fall. Uh, Amulet 2, uh, it's probably the first book that I feel really delivers what I've been promising in the books that I've been creating, so I'm super excited about it. I think it's the best thing I've ever done. Um, and I'm even more excited about Amulet 3. I mean, I know this is early to promote something like that, but it's, I think it's going to be really good. Amulet 2 is going to be good. I can't wait for the kids to get a hold of it. And uh, where, so, where does uh, the second book take the take the kids? Uh, the second book takes the kid takes the kids outside into the the greater uh, world of Valetia, so they actually see a lot more stuff. There's um, there's also all sorts of creatures and monsters, and uh, it just it's just big. It's big, and there's talking trees, and yeah, you can't go wrong with that. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Lots of robots too. Cool <laughs> and. Uh, so what, what do you think uh, makes uh, a great comic uh, or graphic novel for kids? Um, a great graphic novel for kids um, is one that understands uh, that they're people too. But that's probably a good way to, to think about it. That, um, that grown-ups are simply kids grown up and kids are simply small grown-ups. You know? And I think having that kind of empathy and understanding for a, a child as a person um, it, it'll, it'll, you know, I think the kids will they'll register. It'll register with them when they try to read the book. So um, that and it should just, just be fun. It should just be fun and cool. You know, not too serious. You know, just people smiling a lot. I think it's good right. too. Right. <laughs> just, just good happy stuff. Fun, fun, cool stuff. Yeah. Uh, and if there's, a, can you name one book or comic or graphic novel that you read as a child that was a, a, a large influence on your work? Today. Uh, how to draw tips from the top cartoonists. Yeah, it was actually like I don't like how-to books. I don't like drawing books, you know, in general. I think most of them are BS. It's, they're not. They're not. Uh, it might, uh, I shouldn't have said that. That's okay. Okay, can you edit that out? Okay. But anyway, um, they're 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 not. They usually aren't very informative. But um, the caps, the caps group, and uh, Don Christensen put together a fantastic compilation of artists. Essentially, it was an anthology of um, artists talking about their craft within two to four pages. It's like you got two to four pages that basically explain how you work. And for me, that was it was huge because some of my favorite cartoonists were in there. And it, and it opened up all, uh, that, that entire, the, the craft of, of cartooning to me in just one book. So that's probably the most influential cartooning book I've ever, I've ever read. But as far as like a book that's just um, like with a story in it, um, Mad Magazine is probably probably that book so um, uh, yeah so I was really influenced by Mad and how to draw tips from the top cartoonists cool thanks Big a lot for me thanks a lot thanks, Scott. <laughs>